All right, so welcome back. So we talked about market structure previously. We talked about higher highs, higher lows, lower highs, lower lows. We talked about trend, order flow, and how the market basically moves. All right, so um, now we want to talk about introduction to smart money concept. And this is the beginning of the advanced section, okay? But through with the whole elementary level, now we want to start the advanced session proper. All right, so trading involves um, one very important information I want to let you know. Trading involves liquidity, okay? Trading involves what? Liquidity. There must be buyers well willing to buy at cheaper prices there must be sellers willing to sell at expensive prices. Now, the more liquid the market is, the more it is for buyers and sellers to transact. Okay? Now, the Forex, or let me, let me state this, right? The Forex market is the most liquid market in the world. All right? When you say a market is liquid, it, it simply just means how easy it is to transfer assets to cash, okay? How easy it is to transfer assets or how quickly you can transfer your assets to cash. If you go to your P2P today, you will see that there are already available buyers and sellers there. If you want to sell, you just have to do what? Make your choice, pick the exact vendor you want to transact with and you sell your USDT, right? So we can say that the P2P market is very liquid because you can easily transfer assets from USDT to cash, your BNB, your ETH, your BTC, any assets you have, you can transfer it to cash easily. Now, because the market is very liquid. Those who control the market try to take advantage of this liquidity. Now, what makes up the liquidity? That should be the very first question. What makes up this This liquidity we're talking about <clears throat> is represented as stop losses. Now, why is it called stop losses? I'm going to explain. Before I proceed further, I also want to reiterate what I said, that liquidity, for those of you just joining me, that liquidity simply means how easily um, or how quickly you can transfer assets to cash. Now, I said the Forex market is very liquid, the crypto is very liquid, crypto market, stock market is also very liquid. Unlike the real estate, which is not very liquid. You know why the real estate is not very liquid? It's because you have to source for what? Buyers. If you have a property of 3 billion naira in Benin now, trust me, the buyers who are willing to pay for that amount to acquire that property it may not be up to five, right? Meaning it's not very liquid. But if you have, but in Forex, if you have that amount, you can swap it to your cash easily because it is liquid. Now, what makes up is liquidity? Stop losses. Now, when the market moves, all right, when the market moves, let's say we're trending like this, Trending, now you understand market structure. So anything I'm doing, I'm not teaching you guys based on elementary level. We're all advanced traders now. So pay attention. When the market moves like this, liquidity always rests below highs and lows. Liquidity will rest here. I will explain, don't worry. Liquidity will rest here. Liquidity will be here.
Quality will be here. Quality will also be here. This is just the introduction or go proper into liquidity. I'm just giving you guys a look now. Liquidity will be everywhere. Now, this liquidity I'm talking about is stop losses. Stop losses of traders. Okay, I want to represent them with dollar sign. Stop losses of traders. Stop losses of trade. Now, price is moving upwards. Buyers are bought from here. They came here. Sellers are willing to sell from here to this point, right? Now, sellers that want to sell from here will place their stop loss here. Okay? And then when price comes here, buyers buy again. We take them out of the market. Pew to gather enough move to continue this trend. All right, now, sellers are also active here now. They will put their stop loss here because they want to short the market. When they come, when price comes here, maybe we see a change of character somewhere around here. Price goes up again, takes them out. Now, this is just a framework of an uptrend, but in the real life scenario, a trend does not really move like this. It doesn't go up like this. No, it doesn't see what it does. Real life. Real life, the market moves like this. Sweeps liquidity, comes down here again. Sweep liquidity. Come down again, test this level. So liquidity, go up, continue the trend. So in the real life scenario, this is what usually happens. So here will not be structure. Are you, see what I'm, are you guys understanding what I'm saying? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Now good. So this is how the framework of the market is in real life. This is just um uh what do you call this now? A hypothesis. All right. This is just a framework. But real life, your chart is going to look like this. Okay, your chart is going to look like this. So market moves like so, like so. So here we can call this a BOS. And then price comes back to this point, which we call our point of interest. Now, liquidity has been swept off from here because retail traders will see this Retail traders will see this as just like this. Retail traders will see this as a double top. So they will put their stop loss here. Put their stop loss here. 
Guess what? Price will take them out. Come down again. <laughs> Come down again. And, and retest a key level, which is your point of interest. So liquidity has been swept off from the buy side, and then price goes down again. Comes back to this area. Now, the reason price is coming down to this area is because there's a lot of volume here. There's a lot of volume here. Most times we can call this our other block. Don't worry, as we proceed, you start understanding all these things. I'm just showing you how smart money works. All right, so price will come back here to collect orders again, create this same framework, this change of character, create it, look at it, break structure, retest it, go up again. This is the framework of the structure of a market. You continue the trend. All right. All right. That's very, that's very nice. Hope you understand what I'm saying. So liquidity will rest here. Liquidity will also rest somewhere around here. Liquidity will rest here. Highs and lows, don't forget. The liquidity will rest here. Price will take them out. Take them out completely. So basically, this is how this market moves. And if I invert this skill, change it opposite, you see it. Same thing. Very scenario. Price is moving. Liquidity here. Then price moves to the downside. So guys, I want to show you all the key components of smart money concept. I just, you know, show you an illustration now. Let's go proper into the main class, right? So we have key components of um, smart money concept. Key components, let me just knock these guys out. Mm -hmm. Okay, key components of key components of our money concept. The first one on the list is liquidity. Liquidity. Second on the list is other blocks. The third on the list, we have points of interest. The next on the list, we have fair value gaps. Displacement. Displacement. What do we have again? We have breaker blocks. Now, now I start this mentorship. This is the, this is the real stuff. Where I'll try to simplify it. It's not difficult. Say so you trust me, Nabi. Will I not trust me again? Well, I trust me. Confirm. 
Okay, we are good. We are good. Pepper soup. So let's go. Yeah. First is liquidity. First is liquidity. We talk about that. We've given you just a little bit of framework on what liquidity looks like. Market. So we are going to talk about the types of liquidity now. All right, we're going to talk about types of liquidity. Okay. Yeah. Please pay attention a bit, yeah? Types of liquidity. We have trend line liquidity. We have equal highs and lows. We have equal highs and lows. Please mute your mic so that don't disturb over there. We have trend and liquidity, we have equal highs and lows. We have highs and lows. Yes. These are the basic liquidity that we have. So whenever you see trend line, remember I told you guys that as time goes on, I'll teach you that all these things all those retail concepts we did before, you will not be using them to trade, but you will, you will only be using them to spot. Now, trend line liquidity. Price is moving like this, creating a trend, obviously. Now, when a trend is formed like this, okay, trend is formed like so, Let's say we have a demand level here. Okay. That price is supposed to come and touch. We're expecting price to come here. Now, everybody that has been trading this trend line, they are at a very big risk because they are building upwards liquidity. Building upwards liquidity. Look at the massive liquidity here. So, at this point, price could decide to sweep everybody out and come back to collect orders and then do something like this. And do something like this. From here now. And continue the trend. Are you getting what I'm saying? So whenever you see a trend line like this, Whenever I see a trend line like this, please, please, please do not trade it because this is a very huge liquidity pool. This happens most of the time whenever you see a big dump in the market. If you check it very well, you see that there was a very huge backlog of liquidity and the market must sweep liquidity. See, liquidity is the fuel of this market. If the market is not liquid, the price will not move. Are you getting me? It will move. Because the big trend, the big guys that control this, this thing, they need price to be at the very cheapest level before they buy. The halving is happening next tomorrow, two days from now. We are not expecting price to go up. 
we're expecting price to fall because we know that these guys want to buy cheap. They want to buy this, they want to buy the market at the very cheapest rate. They are smart people now. Do you expect them to come and buy here like you? This is what you do. You buy here and buy here. No, they want to buy at the very cheapest level. So they will sweep everybody out, collect your orders because you are putting your stop loss here while trading this trend line. So they will sweep everybody out, collect your order. This Amaka that put a stop loss here, she will be swept out. John that put his stop loss here, he will be swept out. Chinedu that put his stop loss here, he will be swept out. Emmanuel that put his stop loss here, he will be swept out. So everybody trading this, thinking, oh, price wants to move from here to here and continue like that. They will all be swept out. All right? They will all be what? Swept out. I'm going to add one more. I'm going to add number six. Let me add it to this. Six. Inducement, very important. So basically this is, this is a trend line liquidity. Now, this is what we call inducement. They have been induced to go into the trade. Inducement is what creates the liquidity. When you say you are inducing someone, you're trying to make the person do something out of his will. Okay, so you're inducing the person to do something. So this trend line liquidity here is called an inducement. Most of the time, they are always the what inducement, inducing you to go into this trade earlier than you should have. Okay, so we can call this trend line. I'm just gonna call this trend line liquidity. Too small. So let's call this trend line liquidity. So the next is equal high and lows. Equal high and lows. Let's say price is moving like this. Then we have an equal high. Price will not do something like this. To sweep off and come down. Retest and go down again. So look at this chart very well. Look at this equal high. This is a double top. Now, a double top, most of the time you are going to say, ah, this double top or more. Price wants to short. Don't be too quick to enter. No, because you definitely want to put your stop loss right here. I'm going to put your word stop loss right here. And if you do that, most of the time you'll be swept out of the market. This market is a respecter of nobody. All right, so this is it. So what do you think is the best way to trade? The best way to trade is to wait for a sweep of liquidity. Let's put this as equal price. Equal highs. Markets will come down, break structure, and then go back here again. 
come and retest some levels here. Now, if we decide to flip this chart, let me do it for you. Let me, let me do the equal lows now. So that you get what I'm saying. It's equal low, equal high. Equal low now, let's imagine price is coming down. The same schematic. Then you see something like this. You say, ah, double bottom. The equal low I'm talking about. You put your stop loss here. Now, price is going to take you out, take you out of the market, create a new break of structure and change of character. then retest this same level again before going up. So this, basically this is how um, you should trade. So here is the liquidity. The liquidity has been swept, right? Wait for the liquidity to be swept. Now, whenever liquidity is swept from the market, you will see an impulsive move. An impulsive move, meaning you will see big candles pumping up. That's a very good sign to know that liquidity has been swept. So check if there was liquidity. Did you see double bottom here? Did you see a double bottom? Good. If you saw a double bottom that was swept and price went up, this trade is valid. Enter with your full chest and risk what you can afford to lose. So basically, this is equal lows. I want to put this here as equal lows. The double bottom is the low. Okay, the equal low. The double bottom here is the equal low. Here to here is the equal low. So we want to talk about highs and lows now. This is for liquidity. We're still on liquidity. Price is moving like this, like this, like this. Okay. You know we said it before. Um, you know we said it before. So liquidity is there. Liquidity is somewhere here. Liquidity is somewhere here. Liquidity is somewhere. Somewhere here. So basically, highs and lows. We have liquidity. High, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, like this. We have liquidity here. And the same thing for a downtrend. So, anywhere you see this dollar sign is liquidity because it is called your, it is where you have your stop losses, right? So, Highs and lows do the same thing. Okay, so basically, this is what highs and lows. So we have liquidity resting above, so on and so forth. So we can see it's 
see how it's on loose. So yeah, this is what liquidity is and these are basically the types of types of liquidity well represented right in front of you. So any questions before we go into today's session? Then in the next class, I'm gonna talk about other blocks. We're gonna talk about the other concepts of SMC, which are quality other blocks, point of interest, inducement, so on and so forth. So any any questions, please? Let me know. Any questions? Yes, I have a question. All right, go ahead. Um, in some cases, okay, this might just be forex related question, but pardon me. In some in some cases where liquidity is taking both seller side and buyer side, what do you suggest in such a market? Okay. You mean something like like this? Yes, right. exactly. Yes. This is a sell. This is a complete sell. You sell the market from here. Oh. Sell the market. Now, the logic is that. Uh, the okay. first side liquidity Please, was taken. Can, can that person mute their, their mic? The first point where liquidity was taken from. Okay. Most of the time, the market will always trade against that direction. So if if liquidity was taken from here first, okay, liquidity was taken from here. And break structure. This is a complete, this is a very good sell signal. You sell this market. So, this is what I'm even looking for currently, but to see it these days is very difficult. In crypto or in forex, it's very common. You're going to see something like this. See, the market works in. Okay, let's do another 30 minutes again. I'll send another link. The market works as a fractal. Not the fractal is. Yeah, you explained it the other time. Okay. This is a fractal. Fractal is that whatever you are seeing in smaller words, time frames. You're going to be seeing them in a larger world spectrum. Yeah. So this entire move now, this entire move, this sell signal, this entire yeah. big move is the same thing you are seeing here. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing you are seeing here. So the market is always in a fractal mode. This, this is to validate that it is computers that controls this market, trading bots. Because if you are not okay. trading bots, you won't have fractals. So this is the first, when they tell you institutions, institutions, the institutions they are talking about is bots that are controlling the market, trading bots. So everything is already programmed according to where liquidity is. You have liquidity here, Price moves creates a range. This is the inducement I was talking about. Okay, trend line, mm -hmm. trend line inducement. Price breaks, takes everybody out. This is a double but double top or triple top. Price is touching here consecutively, so everyone is expecting a sell. Then all of a sudden, you see price goes up, takes them out, breaks down, takes this mm -hmm. other side out, then goes back to retest this level. And then finally takes everyone out from here again. No. Yeah. 
But don't worry, there's a simplified model I use for trading. Takes them out, break structure again, go back, comes back here. It does the same thing again at this level. Yeah. Does the same thing again, create a range, break out, deceive everybody that price wants to go up. That's FOMO traders, fear of missing out. Those traders that trade impulsive moves, they'll be taken out, obviously. Price will break down. And then the same schematic happens. Price will go down again. Mm -hmm. Price will still do the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. You still come here, create a range bound market, sweep liquidity, break structure, retest. Come down again. Now, are you seeing that this thing is a fractal? Yeah. See, is a fractal. Fractal here. So basically, this is just how how the market works. My zoom is about to expire now, so. Okay. Bye. I have to. You recommend. So I have to send the recording to you guys then. Hopefully by tomorrow, talk about other blocks and how you should be trading these schematics. All right? Okay. All right. All right. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank All you. Right. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.